In this presentation, we're going to look at probability theory. So the question is, the continuous run of variable x is a probability density function given by that there. So f of x is equal to, uh, there's two cases between where x is between 0 and 1. It evaluates as uh, 0x squared, sorry, uh, kx squared times 1 minus x to be squared. And elsewhere it's zero. So find k and sketch the graph of x. Now, just quickly, what we're going to sort of remark is that it is not that I know what it looks like yet. Well, actually, I do know what it looks like, but no, that's beside the point. Between zero and one, we would have some sort of curve here like that, okay? And it's zero elsewhere. So the area of this curve. Of, of this uh, region, the area under the curve is going to be 1. So what we'll do is we'll use integration to sort of determine what the value of k is and then we'll sketch it. Okay. So I'm going to clear that and so that's essentially what, the, what we're looking at essentially and what I'm going to do now is clear that and let's have a look at the problem again. So what we're going to sort of say is essentially this is how we sort of solve the problem f of uh, the integral of f of x dx now we know the region it is present in 0 and 1 what that where that 0 and 1 came from was here okay if you get different values there put in the the other values is going to be 1 okay so what we're going to say is uh, k is a constant so we're actually going to take it out I'll tell you what, I'll just put it in for a second uh, k x squared minus uh, 1 minus x to be squared dx that is equal to 1 okay k is a constant so we can take that outside the equation okay and s solve the rest of it what I'm going to do there is I'm going to just quickly remark that 1 minus x to be squared is equal to 1 minus 2x plus x squared Okay, and when I multiply that by x squared, I just multiply each term by x squared. So it's x squared minus 2x cubed plus x to the 4. Okay, so I'm just going to put that expression in there. And I'm going to replace that with um, x squared minus. 2x cubed plus 4x to the power of 4. Okay, now this is a straightforward definite integral, ignoring the k. Okay, so this is a straightforward and definite integral problem. Oh, sorry, definite integral problem. So let's just have a crack at that. I'll just do it down here. So that would be uh, x, x squared would be x cubed over 3 minus 2x cubed. That would be 2 times x to the 4 over 4. Okay, I can simplify that and uh, cancel the 2 and the 4 to just have it over 2. And then finally, uh, x to the power of 4 would become plus x to the power of 5 over 5. Okay, and that's a definite integral between 0 and 1. Okay, so when we evaluate that, what we would get is for 1 over 3 minus one half x squared x x cubed x to the power of four x to the power of five are all one okay um one over five minus zero minus zero plus zero so we could just t totally disregard that second part there we'll just ignore that altogether so what does this evaluate as uh that evaluates as ten over thirty minus 15 over 30 plus 6 over 30 which is to say 1 over 30 okay now let's just put that all back together okay what we are saying is that we have k and we had that integral uh, x cubed minus x square uh, sorry x squared minus x cubed oh, dx equals 1. What we said, uh, what we're saying is that this is equal 
that's equal to 30. So k times 30 is equal to 1, or sorry, 1 30th. That's, uh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm spoiling the fun. Uh, so necessarily k is equal to uh, 30. Okay, k times 1 30th is equal to 1, so k is equal to 30. Okay. Now, that's that. So the next part we're going to look at is sketching the uh, graph. Okay. So essentially what we're going to start off is something like this. Uh, we know it only exists between 0 and 1. Uh, annotate your graphs as best as you can. Okay. Okay. And so on. So essentially what you might do here is that you might evaluate it at a couple of points. Uh, if we were to put in 0 here, we get 0 x times 0 squared uh, times 1 squared, essentially it would be 0, and 0 there. So it's essentially it's going to be look like some sort of graph here like this, okay? Now, how do you sketch it? The best idea, and I don't even know if it's symmetric, it might look something like that, it might look something like this, you don't know until you check, you, you know, it could get some sort of weird looking sketch, you don't know. So the best thing to do, really, is depending on how much time you have in the exam is to where is there we go is actually to try out some values so here I have some values of x what I'm going to do is multiply them by so what oh sorry let's write this f of x equals 30 times x squared times 1 minus x to be squared okay so what I'm going to do here is actually just break up the calculation into two parts Okay, uh, this part here and this part here, just nice and simple, don't overdo it, and just evaluate them for a couple, uh, so we start, have, ha we start at zero and finish at one, I'm going in uh, fifths, not 0.2, not 0.4, not 0.6, but you might notice I also included not 0.5 just as just as well as well. Okay, uh, I just picked a few of those randomly. Okay, so for example, if we multiply um, not if we not 0.5 squared is uh, not 0.25, and multiply by that by 30, we will get 7.5. Um, one minus x is not 0.5, uh, not 0.25 or not by 5, square that you get 0.25 and then multiply these out. So at, at x equals 0.5 which would be here we should get a point of uh, 1.875 you could do a few more of these, for example 0.2 that would be 1.2 times 0.64 which is 0.76 so just put that in there. Uh, essentially it's just uh, try to uh, gather a few points then essentially what you have is a few dots like this okay you might figure out pr pretty soon uh, pretty quickly that it's symmetric and then just join the dots okay that's the, probably the um, most foolproof way of doing it okay uh, so you get a sketch like that that actually is the sketch there okay uh, I did not annotate it there but I've just done that on the graphic there, so there we go. Uh, essentially, just pick out some points, evaluate f of x, okay, and just break it up into uh, small chunks such that you don't mess up. I mean, you're sort of, you have to balance the time constraint in an exam versus the accuracy, okay? You want it to be pretty accurate. Okay, so that's that part. Now, I'm going to move on to the next part here. Uh, so we have found k and sketched the uh, graph of f of x. Okay. So what we're going to do now is find e of x. And how do we do that? So the integral, and I'm going to use the limits that I was provided here. Is in general it is x times f of x dx. Okay. And um, the limits sort of would depend on what you were provided. Okay. So that would be. Let's calculate that out that would be equal to the integral of x times 30 times x squared times 1 minus x to be squared okay again what we will do here is simplify that I know it's, it's, I'm just uh, following 
exactly uh, what I'm looking at on the exam sheet. Uh, x times x squared, okay, I'm just going to rewrite that, that is equal to the integral of, I'm just going to rearrange this first off, x cubed times 1 minus x to be squared, dx, or in other words, 30 times x to the power of uh, x cubed, let's make sure I don't, minus 2x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 5 dx, okay. Let's just sort of uh, be clear where I'm coming from with that actually. It is, uh, I've gone really far down here, okay. So x cubed, 1 minus x squared equals, just essentially multiply this by another power of x. Okay, same calculation, just uh, updated. So, what do we get? That is equal to 30 times x to the power of 4 over 4 minus 2 times x to the power of 5 over 5 uh, plus x to the power of 6 over 6, okay, and we evaluate that at uh, 1 and 0, okay. So I'm just going to clear the screen and we'll have a crack at that. Okay, and so what we have here is, let's evaluate that, that is uh, 30 uh, times 1 over 4 minus x squared, x to the power of 5 is 1. I'm evaluating, the, I'm evaluating this at x equal to 1. At x equal to 0 it's just going to be 0, so I'm just going to concentrate on x equal to 1. So 2 over 5 plus 1 over 6, okay, minus and all the zeros for the other one, so no, don't have to worry about that. Let's just look at that. So, uh, what do we have here is cos uh, low 60, I suppose, 30, uh, 15 over 60, minus 24 over 60, plus 10 over 60. That is 1 over 30 times 1 over 60, and that is actually equal to 0 0.5. So that's the expected value of x. The expected value of x is 0 0.5. Now, just as a remark, you probably might have been able to spot that earlier on when you were doing the graph, that it was symmetric. And the property of a symmetric um, graph is that the mean is essentially the halfway point. The mean and the median are the same. Okay, but in general, we, you won't get that lucky all the time. So it's essentially, no matter what you do, it's best to actually just know this formula in the first instance, okay? The expected value of x equals x times, the integral of x times f of x dx, okay? Now, what we're going to do here is find the variance of x. And what we're going to do here is use this property here. I'll write it here, that the variance of x is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x to be squared. Now just important that the uh, squarings are in different places, okay? So this is minus, uh, sorry, this is minus 0 0.5 squared, okay, which is minus 0 0.25. What we have to do, this is an entirely different kettle of fish, so what we have to do is calculate this here. And it's the same calculation again, the expected, or very similar calculation again. The expected value of um, x squared is the integral of x squared times f of x dx, okay? And so it's a very similar calculation again to what we did the last time. It is, I'm going to write it out, I'm going to sort of speed it up this time. So x to the power of 4, okay? Uh, that's the x squared and times the kx squared. So uh, taking the k out, x squared times x squared gives us uh, x to the power of 4, 1 minus x squared dx. Okay. The limits are the same, we have 1 and 0. Uh, what we would get there is equals 30 times 
x to the power of 5 over 5 uh, minus um, 1 third that's 2 over 6 of x to the 6 okay the 2 and the 6 cancel out to 1 third and finally 1 seventh or oh, sorry uh, x to the power of se uh, 6 7 I'm reading my uh, I have a typo in my notes so x to the power of 7 over 7 okay from 1 to 0 and that is equal to 30 times again when we evaluate to 0 it just cancels out so we're just going to evaluate to 1 1 fifth minus 1 third plus 1 seventh the expected value in that case is actually if this is a little bit of calculator work so I'm just going to uh, save a lot of trouble and just sort of state it's 2 over 7 the expected value of x to be squared equals 2 over 7 okay so Um, when we evaluate, let's go back to our variance of y. Variance of y, sorry, variance of x equals the expected value of x to be, x squared minus expected value of x to be squared. That is 2 over 7 minus um, 0 0.5 to be squared. Let's write them both in fractions. 2 over 7 minus uh, 0.25 or in other words minus one quarter and working that out we would have um, 8 over 28 minus 7 over 28 and that would give us 1 over 28 1 28th. so the variance of x is the variance of x is 1 over 28 okay that's our probability theory questions the first part of this done there's a lot more to do yet but we'll leave it there for the time being.